There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it a kind of breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Mike, I know, I know I've talked a lot of trash about you lately. You still stink, but protect me. Oh! It's the day of the festival. Sorry, y'all. I had to read that line because I, I didn't do this first. What? Good job. Welcome back. Hey, to some more trigger. Trigger happy. Nah, it's because I just uploaded Danganronpa. If you haven't seen it and you're not watching this series, it's one of the greatest ones on here if you're into storylines and plot twists. That's for damn sure. Y'all told me to play this Doki Doki literature boo boo. And I'm five, four, five, or episode, something like that episodes in, and I haven't seen not one piece of scary drama yet. But like it just said, this is the day of the freaking festival. Just making sure my audio is recording, my face cam's recording, hello there. And so is the gameplay, so let's do it. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. She must have a late bill, just like I do. My phone bill this month is $500. How did that even happen? Who am I calling, God? I am. Let it rain down on me, rain down on me. Pause though, that's a, that's a gospel song, not none, you know, stop. Let me continue, Lord forgive me. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that it's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. Where's the sound at? She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Now, before we go any further, I just want y'all to know, you keep talking about keep your game files open. I don't know what the heck that means. I don't know if you mean like in-game files, like, like right here. Okay, the sound is here. I don't know if you mean like right here, the game files, or if y'all are talking about right here game files because i'll keep both of them open shit i don't care i just want to get scared a little bit she sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything and i reassured her funnily enough i probably feel the same way as natsuki about the event yeah i don't want to go i'm more excited for it to be over so i can spend time with sayori and yuri at the festival so berlizzi want to be a player in front of both of the girls that's player f up 101 don't bring sand to the beach but knowing monica i'm sure the event will be great too Where's the Where's the music at? Berlishi! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Hold on, let me save here, and I'm gonna load here. Okay, so the music is playing there. Now let me try and load this one over again. Okay, bruh. So the game trying to mess with me a little bit with this no, no music, no cheery shit. The day of the festival when I probably need cheery music the most because my nerves are, 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 are not at ease. There's no music, that's hilarious. Her eyes are especially green today, I'm just noticing. You'd think that on the days this most important, she'd try a little harder. Come on, Sayori. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. So Sayori, it's heartbroken, right? I don't know if it's my fault or not, but she is not happy about falling, me saying that I love her. She don't feel good, she's still sad. I don't know if I messed that up or not, but we did keep it, so we may, we may load it later. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Why is there no music? <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Belize. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Uh-oh, she knows. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Damn, of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But, I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? Oh, that's right, we're a couple and I didn't even go wake her up. You, you're blowing it right now. 
I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, man, you, you don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think, Berlisi. I, I know. Huh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. What the fuck? Hey, do, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure, let me see them. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yeah, they, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Swag, she got some excellent graphic design work going. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. Berlisi low-key a hater in this. An almost professional feel? What do we need to do is get printed on cardstock, bitch? You need a laminated, bitch? <laughs> You're in a high school book club. I guess, you know, it's, if it's books, you gotta be printed professionally. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. Ooh, it's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. No, no, no. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Why is it quiet as f why is my why is my webcam moving like that? Bro. Bro. Okay, first of all, let me lock my front door. I don't know what y'all are talking about when you say leave my computer files open. Does that mean somebody trying to hack my shit? Somebody know my IP address? F that. This ain't hey, 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 look, y'all. This ain't welcome to the game too. F that. Look at her poem. Why, why is this poem printed in the doggone brochure? Let me turn this game volume down. The name of this poem is Percentage. Huh? Get out of I'm not even finna read that. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem, but a poem is not actually finished, it just stops moving. I had to go in there and turn on a Teependale live stream. Shout out my boy Teependale, much love to you family. I'm glad you're in the other room yelling right now because I can't handle this quiet shit. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I, I get a pit in my stomach. Berlisi? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing? Uh, Monica, did you not see this fuck ass poem that you put in this big ass brochure, this big ass fuck booty brochure that nobody's gonna read? Because every time I come up in this room, all the desks are is empty. Every single desk in this room is vacant. V vacant? Vacant. Vacant? Is it VA? Let me stop. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so. Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Oh, fuck. I quickly leave the classroom. Oh, this episode lit. This episode lit. Hold on, though, before we, before we play this. Heavenly Father, forgive me for all my sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Stay out of my PC. I just got it from Ironside, and I, I'll be damned if I, if I return it because of you. Because of you. Because of you. Okay, let me chill. This game got me scared. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that. Is my shit recording, bro? I'm not even finna play this over again. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. Where's the music? What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and, and what I wanted to give to her. Whoa. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. <clears throat> I can't believe I end up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. 
Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it a kind of breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Mike, I know, I know I've talked a lot of trash about you lately. You still stink, but protect me. Oh! What the f is this? See, trace back. What? An exception has occurred. What the f is going on, bruh? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like, like this. This is trash. This is evil. Satan rebuke you in the name of Jesus. What the hell? What the hell? Is, is, bro! Is this a nightmare? It has to be. Ugh! This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori so wouldn't do this. Ugh, bruh. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But I still kind of like it, so I got to keep it on my ears closely. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it. Oh, 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 oh. My coffee spilled on my computer. This sounds like an episode of Mario Brothers when he get hit on the head by a fat ass Goomba. You know when Mario music, all right, let me chill, bro, F Mario. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Yo, am I, am I getting all this audio done? I'm not playing this over. Nothing in my life is more worth is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never, 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 no, never. What? Huh? Huh? What the? F what is that, bro? What is that, dude? This ain't even funny, bro. What is that? What does that mean when I click that button? What is that? What language is that? Edmund language? Is that Sim shit? Zawaka Geneva? Susu Florbin? What the fuck? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any of That girl is... Who is that? My neighbor and good friend since we were, you know... Bro, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uneasy right now. I'm uneasy. The kind of friend you never, but okay, we said all this before, right? Uh, but if she's gonna chase after me like this, however, I just sighed and let her catch. No, no. What the f? What the f, y'all? What the f, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Seriously? Seriously? I'm gonna bring my mouse pad over here. Where I am. Mornings are used. Um. All right, let me just scoot back a little further. This is some next level evil, bruh. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my. There's always the anime club. Okay, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? What the f are we talking about? 
After I, okay, this game got clubs. Who am I talking to right now? Besides, most of them would probably be too di I guess I have no choice but to start with the enemy. Berlishi? Who the f is that? Monica, okay. Monica, stop. Oh my goodness, I, I totally didn't expect to see you there. Shut up, fake digital matrix glitching bitch. It's been a while, right? What? Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. Mona, okay, smart, beautiful, athletic. You're basically, you're out of my league. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper here or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in a debate club. You're in a debate club, right? Ah, oh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit? What? I'm not about to just sit here and play this over, bro. I'm starting a. Oh my gosh, I'm starting a new in a literature club. Yo, yo, why am I all the way over here? I need a friend. I need a friend right now. Man, I glued, I glued this. I'm not about to take it off for a stupid ass scare joke. How many members do you have so far? Um, ah, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us. It's really hard to find new members. It's kind of boring, but it's really not boring at all. You know, literature can, okay. I'm about to just keep, I'm about to skip. I'm not reading this anymore. Protect me, bitch. What? What did you just say? And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Um, I think I would have noticed that line had I saw it episode one of this f ass playthrough. F this game. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year class and activities. Monica full of energy swings open the classroom door. Here we go. <clears throat> I am going to control, alt, delete this game. It's going in the trash bin, in the recycles. I mean, I can't stand Monica. She got them big ass boobs, but they're full of evil. I don't want to squeeze. I don't even want to lick either. Fuck you. I'm back and I brought a guest with me. Huh? Huh? Girl one. Uh, a, a guest? Seriously, you better boy. A way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Nashuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Berlisi. I'm fucking terrified. This might be one of the scariest gameplays of my life. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? Where's, where's Sayori at? There's no Sayori in this playthrough right now. What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's an okay. <sighs> anyway, this is Natsuki, an energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time. How long have I been recording? Oh my gosh, I got a whole 25 more minutes. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Polici in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, <clears throat> you know. Sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Belichi? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the chest. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. Stop looking at me with them, with them. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun. Okay, whatever. I'm surprised there are more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. 
You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when there's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince me that you're both fun in a while, but it's just... <coughs> I'm confident that we can all really grow this cup before we graduate. Right, Nashuki? Well, I guess. Nasuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to just find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the tea pot. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So Lizzie, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I met her quietly to myself, half joking. Nasuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change, bitch. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. The rim? The word rim is a terrible word. The word rim is in the same category as moist. That's all I can think about right now. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She's still got them bazungas. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I mean, I read a horror book once. I, I desperately grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with her. Ah, I expected from you, Yuri. It's just your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal how horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Uh, why is that? Well, I just... Nasuki's eyes darted over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. That's right. You usually like to write about cool things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind you like... Uh, it looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Please don't say it out loud. And give it back. Fine, fine. Nasuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you say them sometime? N no Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Oh my gosh, am I... Yeah, okay. Do you have any writing experience too, Ryuri? Maybe you're selling your work and it's an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable. Okay, okay. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Oh, I already know what's gonna happen. She wanted, she wanted us all to write poems. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for us all to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Berlizzi? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lost my train of thought. All three girls sit back with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> huh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Berlishi. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Oh my gosh, hurry up! Huh, I feel terrible for letting anyone down in this situation, and besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed, so if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Berlici? Yeah, it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. 
Felicia, I'm so happy. We can be a, we can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do anything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, bruh, we don't, don't... Whoever created this game... Hold on, hold on. Man, you already saw my finger, bruh. You saw my finger in the corner of the screen right here. Don't try and make it act like... Don't try and make this seem like I didn't just see a suicide uh, a few minutes ago. Literally a few minutes ago. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Release, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. Don't go home, sir. Don't go home, sir. Don't go inside that room, sir. With that, I depart the club and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls: Natsuki, Yuri. And of course, Monica. Will I really be help happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Huh? How? I don't even know how to write poems yet. That was Berlizzi's first meeting. Why does my camera start going like that when I get to a scary part? Yes. A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all can read that later. Y'all can read that later. Why, why is it? Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all can what? Y'all can, y'all can rewind. Y'all can rewind. I did that for y'all to rewind. I did not do that for me to sit here and read that demonic shit. Vanilla, party, marriage, judgment, frightened, incapable, nightgown, cute, tenacious, chocolate, fester, disoriented, hair, scars, kiss, heaven sent, uh, 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 pink jumpy. Yep, I don't even give a fuck. How you getting, Berlici? I just said you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. What the f? Thanks for keeping your promise, Berlizzi. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive at first into literature when you're not accustomed to. Whoa! Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. What the fuck? I can't read that. Bitch, move. What the fuck? Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back. I'm sorry, Berlizzi. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that. They... Well, wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, oh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to be a part of this club. So even though I don't read often, I'd be... Uh, are you sure? I just felt like... Well, it's vice president and all. I just hope you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it keeps your attention even if you don't usually read and we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. This is, how was the girl, I was this girl accidentally being so cute. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew, well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect the money to kick off some scheduled activities, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an expatriated sigh from the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in the case she needs a hand. What the f***? You looking for something in there? F***ing Monica. Um, she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to make Okay. Manga. You, you read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone 
volume of manga I'd missed a stack of Barry's books on the side of one of the shelves. Curiously, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Asuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of mangas and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Uh, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. See, look, look at my webcam now, moving, moving cool. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on the door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a tone in your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Berlizzi. Consider this a lesson straight from the... Don't judge a what the f***. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shows the book right, okay, ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out, to, out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window, so she passes on, she pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easy for us to be, cl to, uh, okay. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. And I sick across his arms and scratches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't, ex I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Now that I, not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again reaches over, claiming the additional space where she, I can feel it peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Oh, wow. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, okay. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Don't get that close, bitch. Any, any, are you sure this isn't boring to you? It's not. Whoa, man. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Like, I could even get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, You still haven't gone out of that yet? Makes me want to push them in the face. Oh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. What the f***? Bro! Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Uh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Don't shift your eyes like that in front of me. So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll flip through the page. Come on, what is that? Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Okay, it looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses right into me. Hey, hey, what the f is that? What the f is that? What the f is that? Heavenly Father, please forgive me for all the foul language that I've spewed across this video. This game is not of you. This game is of the one down there. And, um,. I'm just trying to get through 10 more minutes of this, <laughs> to be honest with y'all. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? What the fuck? Here, Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Berlizzi. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? I don't want to read any of it. Who should I share my poem to first? How about Natsuki so we can get her out the way quickly? I told, uh, I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair she made read what? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Then what's the point of sharing poems in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read. 
That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. <laughs> you're so, you just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <clears throat> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I told you that you were gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated. Okay, we already read this part. We already read this. I'm not finna sit here and reread like... Okay. Monica, let's look, come on. Hi, Brittany, is she having a good time so far? Yeah, we already read this too. She said, if you're interested in Natsuki, keep a snack on her. She'll clean you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Don't try and throw in a little backstory on the characters after you already showed me suicide. I don't give a f I'm ready to get this off my screen. But something she, sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. What the f***? But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I, fra I frantically gla glanced at my surroundings. But my turned eyes can no longer see color. But are there others in the room? Are they talking or are they simply poems on flashes of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ear. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lung. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So what do you think? I don't know what to think. It's very freeform, it's, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Oh, it's okay. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. There's a lot of poems that have been putting emphasis on the timing between the... What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here is Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Yeah, okay, we remember that. Just force yourself, yep, just keep writing. Just keep writing, exactly, exactly. Yep, I remember that from last episode. Thank you, Yuri, let's, let's do it already. Mm. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, let's do this. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing it. Must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have us to the test of time. Yeah, the last to get replaced by the sickening blue-green, uh, uh, bathe, comes, okay, whatever, I flicking back, don't give a f
guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. You think it's, it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, even there, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can, okay, 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 come on, man. This is a literature club after all, I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her handbook. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess, I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is mm, cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Berlizzi did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> Amber Lisi liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what... Uh, uh, oh, y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Berlisi appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Berlisi started showing up. I knew it. I knew her boobs was huge. She got them bazoongas. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that? You really act as long as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking. You want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is much for someone you are mentally... What the f***? What the f*** is that? Get me out of here! 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 What the f***? I don't care! What the f*** is that? What's going on? Click something! Whoa! Hey, Berlizzi, why don't we step outside for a little bit? Uh, okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confirm my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But it never ever did me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I, b I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Berlizzi, please don't hate me, please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it tomorrow. Completely. What the f***? Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. I it's not that. It's not that. I just I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Berlizzi. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really- oh, uh! Nope, alright, I'm done for the day. What the f*** is that? What is this? 
There's a little devil inside all of us beneath their manufactured perception. Nope, 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 nope. No. No. Happy thoughts? What is this? What? What the fuck? Read me? Nope. Why is there screenshots? When did I take screenshots? Okay, I remember that one. What is that? What is that? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. This took a turn, clearly. I'm gonna play something else. I'm gonna play after this, probably Sims, Bully, Dangin, and and then I'll come back to this, bruh. I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. If you're new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Yes, you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Let me chill. Let me chill. I'm too hyped right now. Finally, a new, a new damn game.